do new 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 everybody new now new new okay. new, new new yeah first up code.org circuit playground pack so this is a new pack that is specifically for well it's we put it in for teachers and educators workshop runners people who have to teach a lot of people maybe 15 or 30 people with circuit playground and um, in particular with our partnership working with code.org to get circuit playground and programming into the hands of a lot of kids and teachers they want us to make a pack that was basically enough for a small workshop or a small class so with this pack you get 15 circuit playgrounds you get uh, 12 sets of five LEDs, so 60 total little sequin LEDs. Mm -hmm. You get, uh, I think, 12 sets of, um, 15 sets of alligator clips. Which is uh, a collection a, a collection of them is called a croc. Oh, yes. No, a I don't know. I don't. I'm making it up. That's cool, though. Yeah. A croc of alligator clips. I hope so. So you get tons of alligator clips, as you can see, in all sorts of colors. And you get 15 micro USB cables so you can uh, program your circuit playground. So, um... The code.org um, platform is still being uh, in beta. I don't believe it's released. So this is for uh, code.org. But, you know, if you're an educator or a teacher and you're using Circuit Playground in a workshop, uh, this can teach 15 people with individual boards or 30 mm -hmm. people if they're sharing it. And you get it for a really good price. I mean, it's it's basically like 10 or 15% off mm -hmm. if you were buying them individually. And uh, you get them all in a pack ready to go. So okay. check it out, even if you are not doing code.org. But if you are doing code.org's uh, teacher training program, this is for you. If you just like value, if you go to Sam Clubs or Costco, this would be the type of circuit playground pack you'd buy there. You'd be like, I'm set for a while. This is like the, the huge mayonnaise jar yeah. of electronics. Yeah. Okay, next Never up. Never need mayonnaise again. Yep. What's this stuff? This is the Make Do Screw Add-on Pack. So these are kind of neat, and people actually are picking these up from us. So if, yeah. uh, you know, remember when you were a kid, and, like, the most amazing thing in the world was um, when somebody in your block threw out a refrigerator box? Did yeah. you ever have that? <laughs> I only made things out of cardboard boxes when I was a kid. Dude, refrigerator boxes are amazing. And so what's neat about Make Do is they made these um these like gigantic plastic screws and they're like really grippy and they're designed for cardboard and so you could get like extra thick ones and, and skinny ones and we already sell like the starter kit that comes with like a screwdriver and a whole bunch but if you want to make really big projects you might want to have more of these little screw add-ons and so this is a pack of like 30 extra of those screws. Um, they are reusable, like you don't use, you know, it's not used once. After you're done, you can remove them from the cardboard, recycle your cardboard, and make um, another fort or airplane or rocket ship or boat or whatever it is that you're making from cardboard. Um, this one also comes with like a handy little mini screwdriver, which mm -hmm. I think looks pretty handy. So if you really had to, you could use it just with this tool, but um, we suggest it as an add-on to the um, make-do pack that we already sell. Yeah. All those uh, boxes from Google and Apple and Amazon, you can yeah. you could build a city. All those Amazon boxes, do something with okay, them. Okay, so that is so we're gonna cut new products short. That's it for this week because we have new 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 not mm -hmm. out yet. Yeah. Well, this you have the ASP32 now. I do. Yeah. Where's it at? Oh no, that was the code. Yeah. <laughs> oh right. Oh, it's all good. Wait, I can just share it off. Yeah, the we're going to go straight to the overhead. So we have the ESP32. I, everyone's like, wait. No, no, I know. Well, we have some, no, we have a bunch of. It's no, we have a lot of. Yeah. Yeah. But right. I'll tell you what, I'm going to show this off on the overhead yeah. and then you can grab some photos while I'm doing that. Yeah. No problem. I know. This is a heavy overhead item anyway. Yeah, we're going to go right to the overhead. I, I know what I did. Okay, yeah, there's just so much excitement. Okay, so this is our new feather. And I know this has been in design for quite a while. I started this like almost, you know, <clears> six months ago. But um, I wanted to wait until. Um, we had a really good stable Arduino core, and they've done so much work lately. I think it's ready for uh, people in the Adafruit community. So a lot of people are familiar with the ESP8266. This is the ESP32, so it is the big sister to the ESP8266. I think the 8266... It wasn't actually designed for makers. Like it was kind of a coincidence or like a good luck thing that it turned out to be so popular. And Espressif, um, I think, took a lot of the feedback and, and the popularity of the 8266 and realized, well, you know, the ESP8266 is amazing because it has Wi-Fi, it's got digital input pins, it's really low cost, but there's a couple of things that it was missing that people really wanted. Like for example, a lot of, um, 
digital and analog pins. So what's really neat is the ESP32 has like a ton of pins. It's got um, uh, like 12 analog inputs. It got it has multiple SPI pins, multiple I squared C ports, multiple UART ports, I2S. It's got Bluetooth as well as Wi-Fi. So it does Wi-Fi, but they're also it has a Bluetooth support. I saw somebody today tweeted about like a Bluetooth radio that they made with it, uh, and it has Bluetooth low energy support that they're adding. So it, it's a really powerful like all-in-one. Um, chip and under this module is the ESP32 itself and also 16 megabytes of flash memory and we took this module and what like very luckily because we had already designed the feather um, the module fits exactly in between the pads so it's a perfect it's right in between there so you can use it um, as a feather and what's neat is you know we sell an you know a valve board and we sell a breakout for the ESP32 but what's neat about this is it is compatible with um, our entire library of feather wings. So, for example, um, you know, I just I have a, a some examples of like stuff. So, for example, we have you know this terminal block. So, this terminal block breakout takes your feather and um, breaks it out into all these screw terminals. So, what's neat is you know you've got you know any kind of feather you can plug it in. And now you know you don't have to do any soldering if you want to attach um, devices. And um, we also have many other feather wings. So like, you know, this is a tripler, so lets you connect three um, feathers at a time. So for example, this is just running um, a very, you know, it's a, it's a fake demo. It's not actually doing transmission, but it has an OLED and it can show you details and there's like a radio module you can add. And we've tested all of our wings and they all work. Um, the Arduino core is still in progress, so there's a couple things that don't, don't work quite yet. I think analog outputs and PWM outputs are still in progress. But I2C works, SPI works, GPIO works, um, analog inputs work. And so this is, I think now is a good time to release it and get it out into the world. So as Espressif um, continues improving and, and expanding the capability of this chip to people, um, you'll have it in hand. So this comes with USB to serial converter and has a bootloader on it already. So you just, you know, upload immediately. It works by default. We added a little reset capacitor to um, uh, improve the reliability of um, auto reset. We did a lot of testing with that. Um, it has a LiPo battery port and uh, we're charging built in. So it charges up to 200 milliamps at a time, um, which is good. You need a lot of power for this and a bunch of extra capacitors. And yet all the pins are broken out. And then on the bottom, um, you know, we have all the pads labeled. So like they all, there's so much capability, you know, there's DACs and ADCs, um, I2S, I2C, SPI. What's the LED. serial converter in it? The serial converter I use is the CP2104, which is both low cost, um, very affordable, and in my opinion, um, much more, much better for high speed uh, uploads than the FTDI chipset. So we did all of our testing at 961 uh, kilobaud and never had an upload fail. So this is super solid. Um, we'll make it very easy to do development. We recommend using the Arduino IDE. That's what we've been using. Um, but you can also program it directly using the Espressif IDF. That's their low level programming setup, which is much more powerful and has much more examples for it. But the examples are slowly getting ported over to Arduino. So for example, there's only, I think there's only a basic Bluetooth low energy demo right now for Arduino. If you want to do way more Bluetooth low energy, check out the low level ID, the IDF, the development uh, framework. Okay. But long time coming, we have it, and it's got this really cool matte PCB. It's like really cool looking. So there you go. We now have the NR52 feather and the ESP32 so, feather, the two things that people were waiting for. And that was the start of the show besides you, Lady Ada. Yes. Okay. We did it. Yay, good work. Okay. And with that, Lady Ada is, you guessed it, new products forever.